Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Dynamo video talking about prize picks for the MLB for Tuesday, August 1st. We had a crazy July with Dynamo, so let's keep it rolling. As always, going to give you my five favorite picks here that I've personally researched. So if you like any of these picks, do your own research on them and possibly put them in your slips. If you like them as well, don't just blindly tail. But we do have really good picks for you guys, as always. And how I build out my baseball is I go with two pitcher picks, the odds jam pick of the day, which we'll talk about in a second, and then a hitter stack for my last two picks. And that's been a winning formula for me, at least. If you guys aren't in the Dynamo Discord, get over here. We got people talking in the MLB betting section and a lot of people giving off their picks in there, as well as winning, as you can see here. A lot of people winning. Thanks to whoever said this. My first win in three days. Love to see that. And we got a lot of other people winning as well. And talking over here, giving their picks out. Speaking of how good we did in July, these are the top records for the month of July on the pick of the day for the VIP cappers in the Discord. Every single person was above the 500 mark, which was pretty crazy. All the cappers in the VIP Discord killed it. So let's keep it rolling in August. All right, coming over here to Discord, my, f sorry, to prize picks. My first pick here is going to be Brian Bello. I, I think that's how you pronounce that name, just like a regular Brian. But anyway, we're going to be taking him on the under for his strikeouts. Boston going against Seattle. Seattle's been pretty solid this year. Looking at Bello over here on ESPN for his strikeouts, you know, the last time he hit six strikeouts or more was all the way back on June 18th, and the previous six starts since that, he has not hit that mark, so we love to see that. And on the season, he is well under a strikeout per inning guy here, and it's pretty uncommon for him to go more than six innings, so... With all that said, uh, Bello going to be my first pick here to go with under on the strikeouts. The next guy we're going to here is going to be Miles Mikolas. And for him, also going under on the strikeouts against Minnesota, who has been one of the better teams in baseball this year. Mikolas uh, has been crazy as of late, got ejected in his last start here after just getting two outs in the game. Obviously, he didn't hit the, his strikeout count that time. But if you look at this, he needs five strikeouts. And in the month, month of July and June, he hit that one time, which was right here against the White Sox, who are a team that strikes out a lot and, frankly, just isn't super good this year. In all these other starts, he hasn't even hit five strikeouts. He hit four once. So... This guy's just not a big strikeout guy. So based on all of that, you know, really like him on the under. Let's also, if we're talking a strikeout per inning, 87 strikeouts in 127 innings, not going to be great. Has never been close to a strikeout per inning guy in his career. So we're going to go to him on the under of four and a half strikeouts. Now we're going to look at our odds jam pick of the day. And if you don't know what Odds Jam is, they have a really cool tool here that you can get 25% off of with the code DYNAMO. It'll be linked down below. So just click on that link. Use code DYNAMO for that discount. But basically, they take prize picks and other player pick sites up here, including Thrive Fantasy. And they'll look at other sports books and see which ones are going to be the most likely to hit. So the top one right here is Spencer Strider. They like him under the outs of 18 and a half. Pinnacle, one of the sharpest sports books, has him at minus 134. DraftKings minus 145, and Caesars minus 140. So the other sports books really like this one to hit. So we're gonna take that for our odds champ pick of the day. They make it really easy to find some great picks to put in your slips based on basically what Vegas thinks. So typing in Strider, they actually got rid of. <laughs> This one already, I guess too many people were taking it and they took it off. So that's how you know Odds Jam is doing their thing. So let's refresh, see what else they got. Now the top one is going to be Matt Manning under four and a half strikeouts. Pinnacle at minus 140. 
minus 140 FanDuel, minus 150 DraftKings, minus 152 Caesars. So they actually like this one even better. Let's see if that one is still up for us to take. And it is here. So we're going to take the under on that for our Odds Jam pick of the day. Again, if you want to check out Odds Jam, you get 25% off with code DYNAMO and click the link down below to check it out. Definitely helps building out slips. And even for like Bello and Mikolas, I went through and made sure that the sports books agreed with those picks as well. And it's really easy to do that on Odds Jam too. So now that we have three picks, going to go with a hitter stack for my last two. Looking at these totals here, stop me when you see one that sticks out right here. Padres Rockies, 12 and a half, which is insane. You're seeing some at seven and a half here. No one else even at 10. And the Padres are massive favorites on the day as well at minus 175. So their implied run total is like seven runs in this game or higher, which is crazy. So going to some Padres here. But typing in the Padres, we only have two props up. They're both hitter fantasy scores, which I'm not completely opposed to. But I would rather get a better stat going because Tatis usually hits second, Soto third. So we could get a little correlation here if Tatis gets on base, Soto hits him in. They're both going to get points for that on the fantasy score. But, you know, I'd like to have some more options than just hitter fantasy score. But this is all we have to work with right now. Going on the over on both of them, if you guys join up in the Discord, I'll post later in the MLB section if I like some of the Padres props better. But right now we're going with the hitter fantasy score for these guys. Also, check out Thrive Fantasy. You're going to get a 100% deposit match up to $250. And you're going to get a free square when you deposit at least $25. And they have a ton of props over here. They probably have Padres Rockies props up as well. So check out Thrive Fantasy. It will be linked down below. Now, it's a quick recap of the picks. We got our hitter stack of the Padres, 2-3 in the lineup. Highest projected run total of the day by far. And we're going to go with their two stars, Tatis and Soto. Then we have our Odds Jam pick of the day, Matt Manning. Under four and a half strikeouts. They really like him over on Odds Jam. Miles Mikolas, who hasn't really touched five strikeouts in June or July. Really hasn't even touched four except for one time. Uh, And then we got Brian Bello, who kind of in the same boat here. And we see Tatis go down to 10 and a half. So I like that. Glad that got in there before I took that on the hitter fantasy score. But that's going to be the five picks for me there. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this one, get over here in the MLB section of the Discord for free. Check out Thrive for that 100% deposit match and Odds Jam to find some picks. So check that all down below. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.